Hello and a very warm welcome to my channel. This morning, we give you a piece of breaking news, Meghan Markle distraught as £1 million till all interview plan ruined. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry moved from Vancouver to Los Angeles hours before the US-Canada border was shut down to limit travel and slow down the spread of the coronavirus. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are believed to be holed up in a gated community on the Malibu Hills with their 11-month-old son Archie. But Meghan is reportedly heartbroken as the pandemic ruined her evil plans to earn £1 million via tell-all bombshell US TV interview. Yesterday, the Daily Star claims the Duchess of Sussex may have agreed to appear on a US TV network. The interview could see the Duchess discuss her and Prince Harry's decision to step down as senior royals, as well as the process behind their departure as senior royals. US TV mogul Oprah Winfrey is said to be a potential candidate to interview Meghan. The move has been compared to Princess Diana's 1995 interview with Martin Basher about her marriage to Prince Charles. Meghan is in talks with several US TV networks about an exclusive interview, according to the reports. But a source close to the royal told The Sun, the Duchess is now distraught as she is forced to lock down after a move to Los Angeles. The royal insider said, after all, one of the main reasons she decided to live in Los Angeles was to earn money for her family after they stepped down senior royal. Plans were laid out and carpeted waiting for Meghan, but she did not anticipate the disaster. According to the source, it would also be broadcasted across the world, given the relevance of the subject on a global scale, not only for the countries involved in the Sussexes move. Meghan is reportedly extremely serious about trying to win back the public, according to a source speaking to the Daily Star. Prince Harry is also said to be giving serious consideration to the project. Meghan is believed to be approved of cameras filming her home and her family life. Showing the interior of her home would make the interview more intimate, a practice that is commonplace in US TV interviews. A famed example of this type of exclusive is Martin Bashir's interview with Michael Jackson in 2003. A source close to the Sussexes told the star the interview with Meghan would be the most anticipated global TV interview event since Diana's famous tell-all chat with Martin Bashir. Meghan Markle's could earn a £1 million tell-all bombshell this US TV interview. But after all, Meghan was really heartbroken and stuck when the plan went bankrupt in front of her. Meanwhile, Harry is helpless because he has no experience in this star field. And many fans also mocked Meghan. The first wrote, poor Meghan. She had such grand plans on how to save the world, but the virus has stolen her thunder, dot and even she can't compete with a virus. Virus wins, the world loses, for now. I am sure that somewhere in a Malibu kitchen, Meghan is furiously scribbling the wisest words known to man, just Harry, on banana after banana. It's not her fault, as nothing is ever her fault, that the world isnt reciprocal to her fruitful ideals and inspiration. She could tell all in three words, I am a narcissist and that's about as bombshell as a wet paper bag. Not a chance while Charles is paying for their security and everything else. After the divorce, absolutely. And she really thinks a tell-all interview will win the public over? Hardly. She's more likely to use it as a threat to get more cash out of the royal family anyways. Another fan also think that, did she stoop to selling interviews already? This is not the financially independent they hell-bent on telling the royal family and the world. And if she does, even more people will despise her. Carry on, sweetheart, nobody will believe you anyway. She's a sociopath and narcissist. The third anger, oh, what a surprise. That was unexpected. In other circles, this would be called another name, blackmail. It would be quite amusing to see her rolling her eyes at Harry, behind his back. And perhaps the odd tut when he reminisces about his family and their illustrious history. What went on pre-Harry would be more interesting on this side of the big pond. Meanwhile, Amanda Platell from Daily Mail also snubbed Meghan and Harry, she thinks their royals have never been so crucial to them, nor Harry and Meghan so irrelevant. Let's see her opinion. Can it be only a few months ago that the monarchy was facing down Megexit, in what appeared to be one of its worst existential crises since the abdication? In those tumultuous days, Prince Harry and his wife Meghan's decision to flounce out of the royal family, while determined to make millions from their royal status, were seen as cataclysmic. 
Many believed the institution was holed below the waterline and wondered how it could survive. And yet, during the coronavirus crisis, the greatest post-war challenge to the kingdom, it has not just survived but thrived. First, we had a croaky Prince Charles recovering from the virus, proving no one is immune from this terrible disease, and speaking to us with humility and compassion. And, by sheer coincidence, we've seen the release of his and Camilla's touching 15th wedding anniversary photograph, a happy middle-aged couple in country clothes, at ease with each other just as the country, evidently, has become with them. Then there is the Queen. That blissful photo of her talking to Boris Johnson on her old-fashioned phone from a room at Windsor Castle decorated with corgi statuettes made us love her all over again. Her broadcast to the nation, with its wartime references, acknowledgement of the sacrifices we are all making and that optimistic Vera Lynn line well meet again, struck just the right chord. And let's not forget the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, who have been doing FaceTime video chats with children in schools looking after keyworkers youngsters, to support their mental health charities. The point is that all of them instinctively understand their role in these dark days, just as the Queen's father, George VI, did during the war. Politicians may come and go, but the one constant is our royal family, that symbol of continuity, embodying our common sense of purpose, of what it means to be British, and, in times like this, thank God for them. The dust-up over Harry and Meghan is of a different age, the age before coronavirus. The couple is now utterly irrelevant to a slimmed-down monarchy that is as healthy and important as ever. And many fans also blast them. The first wrote, who is even thinking of Harry and Meghan right now? They resigned and are completely irrelevant. Non-royal, not interesting and certainly not paying their own upkeep. Financially independent this is not. Meghan and Harry timed their exit spectacularly badly. They won't be earning any money for a very long time and by the time things get back to normal, they'll be old news. A fan agrees, who cares? The British royal family doesn't need the two wannabe Hollywood stars, Harry and Meghan. They can stay with their own Clinton Foundation Archewell in America where they are trying to make money with their own son. Harry is a bloody fool, he had everything and he blew it, for the sake of a blow. He's a disgrace, a pathetic excuse for a man and completely unsuitable as a member of the RF. Good riddance to him and his skanky wife. Another added, we have woken up to what really matters and sorry but time's up for the lazy scroungers with their insensitive self-absorbed nonsense. The Markles would have been insufferable had they remained in the royal family during these uncertain times. Harry Markle would have been making speeches in his bare feet and Meg's virtue signaling would have out of control. Meanwhile, the second wrote, the Queen has been the stability in a world that isnt always stable. Even at her age, she carries out her duties as she did 60 years ago. Long live the Queen. At least the royals who are still working are doing something for the country. Harry and Meghan are siphoning the money from Charles to fund their new celebrity lifestyle but give nothing back. How selfish. They pretend to be independent but won't last a month without royal money. A user agrees 100%, Kate and William are a class act. Meghan and Harry, not at all. William is no snowflake, and Kate is a tough cookie. William and Kate behave as future king and queen in all respects. Methinks it's about time that Her Majesty, the Queen trimmed the royal family tree and cut loose some grifters. The monarchy has been around for a thousand years. Meghan is not going to affect it. The third said, absolutely agree with Amanda. They are irrelevant. And over. So glad they're not around now milking this disaster for their own gain. Good riddance. One thing this virus has confirmed to me is a complete overpayment of sportsmen, CEO executives, etc., when the backbone of the world is shop assistants cleaners health care workers refuse collectors, let's hope you come out of this with a new appreciation of who the real stars of the show actually are. But a fan reply, Archie's irrelevant but I wouldn't put it past a desperate Megan to start merchandising him, on Instagram, to make easy money. We should pity little private citizen Archie who, like children born to narcissistic mothers, will grow up resenting Meghan and Harry also. He is being deprived of his birthright to be raised among the royal family and traditions he was born into. And the last one wrote, it would be interesting to know what his status would be in future years, whether or not he could re join the royal family on equal terms or whether he will be an outcast thanks to mom and dad. 
Harry's still got an indigo back, likely Archie has too, but if Harry ever wants to come home, hopefully with Archie, hopefully Meghan Markle will stay in Los Angeles. It's sad Archie's not getting to know his UK cousins. There's nothing for him family-wise on the other side of the Pacific. And you? What do you think about them? Please let me know in the comment section and we discuss it. Thank you for watching my video, if you loved it, please like and share it for anyone you think they need it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get more news from the royal family. Now, goodbye and see you in the next video.